Uh, my name is Yasuyuki Nemoto, and uh, I'm working for uh, Dr. Masaru Emoto uh, for the past 12 years. And actually, the, I think I'm the only person who has a scientific background in Dr. Emoto's company. And so I'm kind of in charge of the scientific aspect of Dr. Emoto's work. And uh, here, uh, my boss, uh, right side, Dr. Masaru Emoto. My name is uh, Dr. Nemoto. <laughs> it's a little confusing, but you can remember me, not Emoto. Okay. <laughs> I have no biological connection, just maybe spiritual connection. Anyway. And uh, uh, at first, I want to express, explain a little bit about uh, Dr. Emoto's uh, work before he published Message from Water, which means uh, uh, it was year 1980s. Uh, he was doing Hado counseling, which means uh, Hado is a, a Japanese, Japanese character meaning vibration. And uh, Hado counseling, uh, he did Hado counseling uh, using Hado water, which means uh, actually informed water or water containing information. And this is uh, the time to first uh, started to import this machine called MRA, which is a magnetic resonance analyzer. And actually, this is a kind of bioresonance apparatus. And uh, uh, here, this is actually video. Uh, the photo is here, and uh, here is a client. And he's using this machine, and uh, he could uh, measure the energetic status of this client's body, and even the, not only physical, but also emotional, and so on. And uh, because uh, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, in an emergency situation, usually client will put his hand on a plate, which is this, and uh, this machine uh, gets the information from the client or patient. But uh, sometimes, uh, if in an emergency situation, even the client cannot come to Dr. Emoto's office. In this case, Dr. Emoto tried to put uh, just a photograph of the client on the plate. And somehow, he could manage to measure the client's energetic status at a distance. And next, uh, even the, uh, he, uh, sometimes he could not get any photograph at all. In that case, he printed the name of the client like this, and he put uh, this label on the plate, and he could succeed. Uh, he succeeded in uh, treating the many patients in this way. And actually, the, uh, I think uh, during 1980s to 1990s, Dr. Emoto uh, treated more than 10,000 people using this method. And actually, after he checked the client's um, energetic status, he could make a special water which contains uh, information uh, that can neutralize the patient's you know, bad energy using the same apparatus. And, but uh, uh, at this time, uh, because uh, Water, even he put uh, different information into water, the people could not see any difference because the water looks the same. And uh, so even some people criticized this method. So uh, because of this situation, Dr. Emoto uh, wanted to, uh, looking for a way to make the invisible things visible, which means the information in the water. And uh, one day, he was reading a book about the snowflakes. <clears throat> and as you know, uh, there are no two identical snowflakes. This is a common sense. And when he was looking, uh, reading this book, he got an idea that even the, just water, if we freeze the water, then water might show us uh, water crystal, which might be different depending on the information that the, that water contains. This is a, a starting point. And actually, the, uh, usually we put uh, 50 
drops onto 50 petri dishes like this, and uh, we free freeze the water in the freezer uh, about minus uh, 20 to minus 30 degrees uh, for more than four hours. Then after that, uh, this is one of our researchers. Uh, he, uh, at first, this person, uh, Mr. Ishiba, Dr. Ishibashi, uh, started this uh, uh, method, tried to establish the water crystal photography. But uh, after one month, uh, after two months, he could not get any result. And uh, at that time, what Dr. Emoto said to this person was uh, to take him to the pub and to drink but, uh, beer together every night. <laughs> and because this person uh, had a, a doctor of chemistry, but uh, because uh, he couldn't get any water crystal at all at the beginning, uh, he said to Dr. Emoto, oh, it's impossible. I know snowflakes, but uh, maybe it's impossible. I have never heard about the water crystal. But uh, because Dr. Emoto encouraged him every day, and finally uh, he got the first water crystal, which is this. And this is a, uh, water is actually microclustered water, which means uh, it contains uh, some information, good information. And this is the first crystal uh, taken in 1994. And uh, since then, he could uh, uh, take a lot of uh, water crystal photographs very easily. And then, uh, in year 1999, uh, Dr. Emoto published this book, Message from Water. And I just briefly uh, explain about uh, the content of this you know, message from water. And uh, first, they checked the tap waters in the world using this method. And this is a uh, tap water in Tokyo, Japan, very bad, as you know. <laughs> and uh, tap water in London, UK, not good. Tap water in Paris, France, not good. Tap water very Germany. The water tried to make a good crystal, but not yet perfect. But this water is from Vancouver, Canada. The nice crystal. Even from tap water, you know, some tap water shows us very nice water crystal. And then next, uh, he, they uh, took natural waters in the world. And I just show a few examples. This is a very nice water crystal, and which was taken from uh, some spring water near Tokyo, Japan, in a mountain area. And we think this is uh, maybe most beautiful water crystal which we got uh, from the natural water sources. Next one, this is uh, Lake Majore in Switzerland, also natural water. This is very nice. And next, this is the ice of the Antarctica, also very beautiful. And then, uh, Dr. Emoto is a man of intuition. And uh, as you may know, he is not a scientist. He's saying, no, I'm not a scientist. And so, the message from water can be thought as uh, art, or uh, poetry, or uh, even fantasy. Dr. Emoto is saying, OK? And, uh, he wanted to know the effect of music to the water. And uh, like this. Uh, I don't know, very, it, I feel very strange. But anyway, between the two speakers, uh, they put a, a, a glass container of water. And uh, we played a music. And for this kind of experiment, we use the same water as a control, which is actually distilled water. This is a, a kind of typical uh, water crystal uh, from distilled water. And here, uh, we have a lot of uh, results about music. But uh, for you, just one example I want to show you, because time is limited. And also, when you observe the water crystal under the microscope, the water crystal is growing under the microscope. It's not a static image. And uh, after maybe two minutes or three minutes, it will start to melt. So the 
uh, lifetime is very short, a few minutes. And uh, our researcher sometimes uh, take a movie of water crystal growing. And next, I will show you a movie of water crystal photograph, which is actually, first we uh, played this uh, popular song called La Nobia uh, to the water, and later on we freeze, uh, we froze the water, and we took the video image from the, this water, and after that, we combined the video image and music. Okay, so this is a kind, of course, kind of art. Uh, yeah. Just a two minutes short video. Could you make the sound a little louder? Anyway. <laughs> Está llorando. Todos dirán que de alegría dentro su alma está gritando. Ave María. Mentira también al decir. Y al besar la cruz pedirá perdón Y yo sé que olvidar nunca podría Que era yo, no aquel a quien quería Ante el altar está llorando So this is so beautiful. Do you agree? <laughs> okay. And uh, this is the effect of music. But then uh, Dr. Emoto uh, tried to show some images to the water. And uh, oh. you know, like this. Oh, sorry. He put the uh, water on the photograph. This is a photograph of dolphins, a group of dolphins. And after 24 hours, uh, we checked uh, the water crystal photograph. And uh, the reason why he got uh, this idea is because uh, at the beginning, I explained about uh, Hado uh, counseling. And in that case, even he put the photograph of the client for some cases. And he knew that he thinks that the photograph has its own vibration. Okay. Even the names or labels has uh, its own vibration. So he thought the water might receive that vibration from the <clears throat> photograph. And then we got this image, and he's saying that uh, here is uh, maybe a group of dolphins at the center. <laughs> I don't know, it may be non-scientific. I know very well. <clears throat> Next, uh, he showed the photograph of uh, elephant and here is a big trunk at the center. And then we got uh, this photograph. Oh, amazing. Next, we showed uh, this image of a shrine in Japan. And here's the shape. Please remember the shape of roof. 
and uh, the shape of this. And then we got this image, like a similar shape, and this, this part. <clears throat> and next, we showed the heart mark to the water. And this is uh, what we got, <laughs> the heart mark. Unbelievable. <laughs> I thought so. But now I, I, I think that it may be possible. But it's very, you know, statistically maybe not significant or, you know, it's between the science and the non-science, probably. And then, you know, uh, he, put, uh, he showed the words to the water. And this is actually a Japanese word. Uh, right side is a thank you in Japanese. And the left side, you fool in Japanese. And uh, uh, he put a label from, back, from the back side so that the water can read somehow. But anyway, <laughs> and then this is a result of the uh, thank you in Japanese. Very nice, uh, strong, beautiful crystal. And then next, you fool, uh, no crystal, very bad. And then, uh, actually this is, a, we show the label, the word, love and gratitude to the water. And Dr. Emoto thinks, or we think that this uh, crystal is the most beautiful crystal so far from any you know, water source or any experiment. So the Dr. Emoto thinks that the energy of love and gratitude are the most important for even for the creation of this universe. I don't have you know, much time to explain about Dr. his philosophy, but uh, this is a kind of summary about you know, the first half of my presentation. Uh, it seems that good water shows beautiful water crystals, while bad water does not show any crystal at all. It seems. And water can be changed by music, images, words, and prayers. And water likes love and gratitude. Okay. And then I will just briefly show a kind of scientific result. But I, uh, I understand this is not yet completely a science. So it's a very preliminary data, but anyway, uh, I'll show you. Because uh, uh, we usually observe 50 to 100 uh, water crystal, ice, 50 to 100 ice uh, from one water sample. And uh, if you read the book, Message from Water, in which you see only one photographs, but actually, uh, we observe you know, 50 or 100 water crystals. And so sometimes uh, some people criticize that uh, you may just take uh, one you know, intentionally. Then I'll show you the, it's uh, really preliminary, but just one example. Uh, this is uh, actually pendant, organ pendant. pendant. The, this material I put into the distilled water, but uh, this material doesn't matter. It's just one kind of exper experiment that I did. And uh, I wanted to know the effect of this uh, organ pendant. And uh, it's, uh, outside is a metal, but inside there are uh, crystals. And they said they put a, a special frequency into the crystal. So uh, I expected that uh, this water might change because of the information inside of this uh, pendant. And this is a result. And uh, here are 50 different, uh, 50 water crystal photographs from distilled water. This is a control. Uh, no, uh, I did not expose to this to the pendant. This is a before, you know. And here I also uh, you know, put 50 uh, water crystals in the order of beauty. But it's you know, just arbitrary. You know, uh, but anyway, here you see uh, relatively beautiful crystal, and here no crystal at all, like this. And uh, this is very pre uh, preliminary data, but uh, I just uh, classified uh, according to the shape. Here is a semi-beautiful crystal, hexagonal or plate-like, indefinite, you know, depression or none, like this. Then, after uh, I put the, uh, the organ pendant in the water, then after 24 hours, I checked the water 
using the same method. Then this is the result. So here, you know, this part uh, I classified as a beautiful water crystal. And here, sem sem semi-beautiful, beautiful, like this, and indefinite, and depression, and none. I will go back. You know, this is a control. And this is a you know, experiment. So there's a, I feel some difference. And but, uh, you know, so uh, this is a histogram of uh, both photographs. Uh, both are composed of 50 images. And uh, this blue one shows the distilled water, the control. And uh, no beautiful and a little bit se semi-beautiful hexagonal plate-like indefinite depression and none. Red shows the distilled water treated with organo pendant. And it shows a beautiful crystal like this. So maybe there is a, a slight difference. And uh, I cannot say you know, this is uh, statistically significant yet. But uh, then, uh, for example, this is also arbitrary unit, arbitrary uh, score I put for beautiful crystal 100. Semi beautiful, 800, uh, 80, like this. And then, this is a number of the water crystal for control and treated by organo. And this is a score for control and treated by organo. And as a result, average score was uh, 33.8 for control. And treated by organo was 45.4, which means uh, a little uh, more beautiful than control. OK. There are many you know, things we have to do, but uh, we try to make the water crystal photography as a science. But we are in the process of this. And one more example is, uh, this is actually, uh, we had a collaboration with uh, Dr. Uh, Dean Redding. And uh, this was published actually in year 2006. And uh, this experiment is a double blind test of the effects of distant in intention on water crystal formation. And here, actually, the, at this time, we had a, a big event in Tokyo. Uh, it was a, a water festival, and Dr. Emoto organized this event. And uh, about 2,000 people came to this event. And in the event, Dr. Emoto asked the audience to send their love and gratitude to the water which was placed at the Dr. Dean Radin's laboratory. And actually, uh, in <coughs> uh, Dr. Dean Radin's laboratory, he put the two water bottles. But he also prepared two control water bottles, which is not uh, in the same room. So in total, uh, there were four bottles of water, and two of which uh, received love and gratitude prayer, and other two were, you know, control. And Dr. Uh, Radin sent the four bottles to laboratory in Tokyo, in our laboratory, but he couldn't, he did not, not tell us which bottle was under which condition. So this is a blind condition. And uh, so our researcher took uh, several photographs, and uh, actually in total, 40 photographs, and he sent back to uh, Dean Radin. And then uh, Dr. Dean Radin uh, received the photographs, and he asked uh, 100 volunteers on the internet uh, to evaluate the beauty of each water crystal photographs. And uh, each volunteer, of course, uh, didn't know which crystal was made under which uh, conditions. So again, this is a blind test. So uh, they say it's a double blind test. Uh, and the scale of beauty was from six, uh, zero to six, and six means the most beautiful crystals. And the result is, uh, this is just, I show the figure, but uh, here is a treated uh, a water crystals from treated water. In total, uh, 24 photographs. And here is a control uh, water crystal photograph, in total 16. And this is a final result uh, of this uh, double blind test. And actually, the, uh, the volunteer uh, 
gave a higher score to the treated water, sample, water crystals. You know, volunteers are in blind conditions. And in this uh, paper, uh, Dr. Uh, Dean Redding did a statistical analysis and uh, uh, actually mean average treated 2.87 as a score of beauty. It's a between zero and six. And control 1.88 and uh, p-value is 0.001. So we can say that this is a, uh, statistically significant. Uh, this is the same thing. Okay. And so, you know, uh, so I'm re repeating again, but our uh, technique is not yet uh, science, just in the process. And, but still, uh, uh, for us, this is a very ha happy, uh, wonderful thing. But uh, very recently, uh, we have you know, some scientific uh, connection with a scientist, which is actually this. <laughs> Dr. Polak, and maybe he didn't remember this, but anyway, uh, Dr. Emoto is, you know, Googling, Googling so frequently about his own work, and he found it was July 10 this year. Uh, Dr. Polak uh, talks about Dr. Emoto's findings on an internet radio program, uh, which Sharon Klein Hour, and uh, uh, according to this blog, a new hypothesis by Dr. Gerald Polak offers the first plausible scientific explanation for Emoto's findings. And my interpretation is, uh, you know, it is possible that the energy of positive or negative emotions may affect the structure of the fourth face of water differently. And as a result, the shapes of water crystals could be changed. And when we freeze the water, the liquid water uh, goes through completely the fourth phase of water, and then it will become ice. So we could expect this thing. And this is a kind of, I made, made it up, this uh, slide, and uh, which is actually, uh, it's, I read Dr. Polak's book, and it's basically based on Dr. Polak's uh, idea or concept. And uh, here, input energy, and the fourth phase of water can be energy transformer, and uh, light, as you heard from uh, <coughs> Dr. Pollack's presentation this morning, the light can uh, charge the water battery. But uh, I think, this is my idea, I don't know, uh, uh, maybe uh, other people think the same way, but the emotions or thoughts or words or images, prayer or healing energy or psychic power, all of them can affect the fourth face of water. And as a result, you know, electric power or physical movement we can get. It's uh, in Dr. Pollack's book, but also maybe biochemical reaction or self-healing power or immunological capacity or connection to energetic bodies, so on. And so the healing can be explained through this concept. The healing energy coming into the cell, the water of cells, then the client's body get a lot of energy and their self-healing power enhanced. And also, if we freeze the water, the fourth phase of water, then we may get uh, different shapes of water crystal, which uh, message from water is showing. And so the conclusion, uh, actually, the, Dr. Emoto is, uh, as I said, he's a man of intuition. And uh, we believe that his insight, which is, uh, uh, which can be said that Water can be changed by our thoughts, emotions, and prayers. And we think this is true. But uh, there are many different ways to prove this statement. And I feel the water crystal photography is a lot difficult way. So maybe some of you may find out the easier way or more scientific way to prove this statement, I believe. And uh, Dr. Polak's findings on the fourth phase of water may explain the phenomenon described in message from water. And so my comment is uh, if some of professional scientists gathering here could find conclusive evidence to prove Dr. Emoto's insight, 
And if Dr. Emoto's work has been an inspiration for those people, we would be very happy. And also, uh, because uh, I have been with him uh, sometimes uh, for his lecture tour all over the world in different countries. And uh, it is very surprising to me, but uh, uh, which is uh, in different countries, <coughs> they rarely accept Dr. Emoto's idea and uh, Dr. Emoto's water crystal photography. The race or religion, or you know, it doesn't matter, or country doesn't matter, any religion, Christian people or Islam or Buddhism, they love Dr. Emoto's water crystal. And especially the in indigenous people uh, all over the world, they really like Dr. Emoto's work. And uh, this is just a uh, final, final slide, which I just <laughs> made this morning, which is uh, because I'm concerned, I, I'm interested in the uh, interaction between the human consciousness and water or material. And uh, what Dr. Emoto is saying is uh, our emotion, which is positive or negative, can affect water. And here, this is a you know, computer or on the screen. Here is a real-time monitoring of the easy layer. And here, this person, uh, when she sends her, her positive emotion, then this easy layer might become thicker. <laughs> and or then, he, if she sends negative emotion, it becomes narrower. And maybe if this is happening, we can make a <clears throat> real-time monitoring system of human emotions, and which is actually the uh, complete evidence for Dr. Emoto is saying. Okay, I think this is... Thank you very much. <laughs>